Okay, first of all, name? Wesley Doolittle. Captain Precinct 1? Yes, sir. Tell me what you got out here. Well, today we've been getting a lot of calls about loose boats on the lake, Scott. So we've been out working with Tow Boats USA and with the Constable's Office Lake Marine Division to recover boats and to make sure people are not on the water because the lake is closed. There's a lot of debris on the water here today. So if you've got problems and you're trying to locate your boat, you can call Tow Boats USA and get them to recover and they will bring it to your back to your dock or they'll take it to the Palms Marina where you can pick it up later. The number for Tow Boats is 936-524-0448. And what about the uh, lake level? I mean, it's up, it's up quite a bit. You can't even get your docks right now. No, sir, our, our docks are flooded here at the lake. We've got most of our boats on our trailers already, but we do have our high water vehicles available for uh, rescues if we do see some flooding locally here, and we'll be here for you and available for your calls. Any other rains keep coming in? What it's gonna look like out here? It looks like it's gonna keep on coming, Scott. I'm not a weatherman, but I know it's, I know it's been a lot. Okay. Your name, Michelle? Spelling first name and last name? Michelle Simpson, M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. S-I-M-P-S-O-N. Tell me what the conditions are out here right now and what y'all looking forward to. Uh, as of 12 p.m., lake level at Lake Conroe is 203.41 feet above mean sea level. Our release rate is 13,720 CFS. Okay, which is a little bit up there right now. And the lake's what, about two feet above normal right now is all? Yes, sir. 203.41. Okay. What are y'all looking, looking for? Just kind of monitor, just monitoring the situation now? Yes, sir. As always, SGRA operational staff will continue to monitor lake conditions, rainfall, inflows, and make incremental releases as needed.
Man, Jason, tell me what we got out here. So we're off of FM2854, just outside the city of Conroe on the west side, in an area that's starting to receive water. There's a couple houses back in this subdivision here that's taking on water. So far, the fire department has uh, evacuated four residents and a couple dogs, and we're going house to house to make sure they're clear. And I know of at least six other residents that are going to have to come out uh, on the next trip in. So the fire department's going to clear the homes and make sure everybody's out and safe. And then uh, we'll, we'll give them uh, shelter or get them relocated to a family member's house over the next few minutes. Traffic at 2854 is pretty much a whole Yeah, 2854 west and eastbound is, is shut down due to the emergency traffic that's here because we can't get into the neighborhood off of the main road. Because of the flooding, we're uh, having to block the FM road with uh, our apparatus. And what about the rest of the county? What do we look like? Can you I mean, it's, beach it's, free so far, this is this is kind of an odd thing. You know, all the all the water here is is uh, due to due to lake release at this point. Um, they're close to the close to the lake. Everything downstream from here is in great shape. There's there's nothing out of banks and other places. We're seeing the typical roads flooding uh, that we typically see in these types of events. The concern that we have as a county is we've received about eight inches as a whole over over the last couple of days, which is very manageable. But our counties to the north have received eight and ten inches just last night, and they're expected to receive another ten inches today. That water eventually has to make its way through our streams and tributaries on its way to Lake Houston and down to the coast. So we have to uh, be vigilant tonight and tomorrow because what, what may be oh, a passable tonight when you go home may not be passable in the morning, even though we'll see receive less rain today. So. Caney Creek all right right now? Or? So far Caney Creek's in its banks and we're, we're monitoring one spot at FM 2090 at Caney Creek off of Crockett Martin Road, but so far it's in its banks and well within uh, safe limits. Right. What about the river coming up? The way it, I mean, it, it, so the Center Center River, good. once you get past FM 2854, dies back down. This is literally just uh, the lake release uh, causing some inundation. And it, it, we see that here. This, this happens quite often when we have large lake releases. Um, and unfortunately, we have to do that in order to protect upstream and downstream. So. What do we look at next couple of days with the river coming up? Uh, it'll, it'll crest eventually, probably sometime on Sunday, and start to recede. It'll take a while to recede. Go. All right.
in.